Poppy Playtime is now at a point where the future of their games are at risk, with many questioning if we'll even get any games at all following the recent drama, or if they'll end up changing drastically from what we saw with the earlier chapters. But what exactly happened to cause all this? Well, it turns out some of the employees working at Mob Entertainment recently came out to reveal some pretty shady stuff said to be going on behind the scenes that was already starting to have an effect on the Poppy Playtime games. Allegations of harassment, abuse, a toxic company workplace, and much more all reported by multiple employees at the company that tells us these recent problems are allegedly caused by the creators and overseers of Poppy Playtime, with one of the most shocking allegations about them telling us they had the Catnap merchandise conceptualized prior to Catnap becoming an official character. This heavily suggests that the CEO of the company was prioritizing merchandise over the actual game itself. With more evidence from anonymous employees who work at Mob Entertainment, that continue to paint a pretty dark picture for Poppy Playtime's company. Both the CEOs constantly push the idea that the company needs more toys, plushies, shirts, merch, merch, merch. They express that they don't care about the quality of the product, and if needed, they would allow quote, crap products for the sake of keeping the money flowing. But as for how true this crazy allegation was, another anonymous employee had this to say about the whole situation. This part, at least, is 100% true. The CEO got some cheap company to make an early prototype plush of Nappy Cat before we even got the name, which was all added on to the countless other allegations claiming that the workplace was full of toxicity, gossip, and a whole list of other claims that, if true, would just go to show how dysfunctional the company actually is behind the scenes. But what impact would this drama actually have on the future Poppy Playtime games? Well, before getting into the actual cancellation claims, we need to cover the changes that have already been revealed. Specifically, we've been updated by several of the developers who've played a huge role in creating and designing the original games. They quit. And we're not just talking one or two important employees either. Mob Entertainment lost Micah Preciado, the character concept designer who created some of the early designs for Catnap in Chapter 3, his brother Zach Preciado who framed the storyline, as well as some of the voice work, technical artist James Pelter, as well as the actual director of the first three games. He tells us in quotes, I have left my position as director due to my deferring opinions of studio direction slash management style, which again connects back to the same problem that all of these earlier allegations came from in the first place, the management. In terms of the situation's bigger impact on future Poppy Playtime games, we were given a statement from one of the Poppy Playtime news accounts that told us, will Poppy Playtime change? Likely yes, because three important mob entertainment employees left the company. One of those who helped most with the development of Poppy Playtime. From chapter four onwards, Poppy Playtime will be very different from how we already know it to be, which, if anything, is even more evidence that we'd be seeing some pretty big changes as this statement was released after only the first three employees left Mob Entertainment. It's not even accounting for the fact that the flippin' director behind the original games also ended up parting ways with the company. And as for what specific impact these key employees leaving is gonna have, before even accounting for the recent drama, Mom Entertainment CEO has already come out to confirm to us that the company is already well aware of how the full series should end, at least before the drama happened. Basically the very last game of the franchise that's been told to us in the Poppy Playtime Discord server to either be Poppy Playtime Chapter 6 or potentially Chapter 7, at least at the time. But we were also told that in this between time, from chapter 4 onwards, before we were supposed to get to the last reported chapter of the game, that the Mom Entertainment Company still actually had to plan out new details. And following the loss of some of these key team members who put together these ideas for us, we start to see how some differences are likely to pop up, transitioning into Chapter 4. Poppy Playtime's management was actually interviewed on how their whole process goes behind the scenes to help give us a bigger picture of how it'll actually change. 
In case, like us, you want to know how far ahead Mob Entertainment plans the narrative, Seth tells us, We came up with the story from the beginning, with the lore being final. We continue to flesh it out though, and add extra details as new chapters and stories come. Telling us that despite these big details for the grand finale being finalized, some of the other key events that mobs still have to plan out are subject to change over the course of their following projects, assuming they continue to be made. The CEO also adds that all future chapters are still always in the works. We are constantly thinking about the overarching lore we originally developed and how we can build on it with new types of gameplay. But the overall story has been written and we are still finalizing the new characters as we speak. Telling us that the Poppy Playtime story at least has already been planned out for future games and the effect that the numerous employees leaving would have would be on the delivery of this story. The specific scenes and features that make up these games in the first place. But at what point does the whole situation become just too much? As some commenters say, at this point I think it's safe to say Poppy Playtime is cancelled honestly. Unless the CEOs step down, employees come back, and the company doesn't crumble as a result of all the recent events, I don't see how it can continue, leading us into a situation where we'd simply need to know what impact the recent drama would have on the company itself. While there isn't any indication that anything has immediately resulted from the spread of these toxic workplace allegations, we know that a buildup of these claims could potentially lead to an investigation into mob entertainment that would have long-lasting effects on the company as a whole. A workplace investigation is conducted when there is credible information there may have been significant wrongdoing, misconduct, or ethical lapses. And with a lot of employees allegedly coming out with similar stories of pretty significant problems going on, it really depends on how far the company continues to go with this controversial environment if it's all true. We know that an actual investigation into the mob workplace could lead to certain outcomes that includes the CEO, the one claimed to be causing the problems, being forcibly removed by the board of directors, which would open up a whole other situation for the company, but the bottom line is that the physical cancellation of Poppy Playtime itself, like so many are starting to claim, is inevitable following this spreading controversy, isn't very likely at all. Big changes would definitely be on the way in terms of what we're used to with the previous chapters, but if anything, the buildup of these problems could lead to a sort of delay for when the game is actually meant to be coming out, not a full-on end of the entire project like many are claiming. But as for what would actually be next for the company following the buildup of this drama, the CEO has issued recent statements involving what's really been going on towards the development of their next game, including what we should be expecting to see in Chapter 4. Specifically, some of the new unseen characters that have been confirmed by both statements made by some of the mob entertainment employees, as well as little easter eggs that were left in for us to find early. But what exactly would this even tell us about the new monsters meant to be in Chapter 4? While I'm able to put together everything we're given early about them, to give you the full story in this video right here. So for what we're told about the situation, make sure to check it out.